Hello and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. So, most of our really good squad is busy either getting praying, praying, hammered, should be meditating, but unfortunately, if memory serves, yep. So, yep, certainly don't have uh, the busts to afford everything, so it's a pity. Oh well. And we've also maxed out our roster. How many, uh... I could increase that, but I was kind of saving some of these up. Instructor Mastery 2, Weapon Smithing 2, Armor Smithing 2. So yeah, we've only got Mastery 1 and uh, Weapon Smithing and Armor Smithing 1. So. Okay, so we can't recruit any more of these people. Well, we Anything good in here? No. <laughs> Alright, let's try and find a nice, easy quest. Or just... <laughs> I love the fact that, you know, if you even think about sending them there, it basically goes, No, God, please, no, no. Ooh. That sounds promising. Uh, yeah, I'm certainly not going on a level 3 mission because... <laughs> because, let's face it, in order to have even a chance of a level 3, I'd need my primary squad, and at the moment they're all recuperating. So, Explore 90% of rooms. Those aren't too bad, usually. So, yeah, let's head in there, I think. And who are we going to take? Well, let's take you, because you're a good scout. You, because you're good fire support. Uh, where do you like to be? Anywhere in the front three. So I think I'll put you there. And... You, since you've now got a... Uh, very rare level item, which should make you a little bit you know, more useful when we're doing stuff. Now, unfortunately, I'm a bit broke at the moment, so I can barely afford anything. Which is a problem, because we're going to be camping, so we're going to need lots and lots and lots of food. So I'm just going to have to hope I get lucky and come across some torches. I could do with a shovel as well. Oh, well. Alright, in we go. Yes. <clears throat> because this game is notorious for the fact that uh, to prosecute our war it's initially swine, very difficult to actually uh, get enough gold to do anything. Okay, so we have a secret. And we don't have any goddamn keys. Which is annoying. Alright then, so... Good range on that scout, mind. Okay, move to here. So we're here to explore. Pack contains loot. Wealth beyond Torch measure. and a decent amount of gold. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. I like the design of the jester, I've got to say. That's, that's kind of cool. Okay, anything here? No. Head back this way. Obstacle. So, given that there's an obstacle, I know I'm going to go up and up. It's a trap, but I suspect somebody can probably disable it. So, yeah, we're going to move this way. Shall we skulk in the dark like monsters ourselves? Yeah, I suppose we should. Oh, bloody hell, they're hungry already? That did not take long. Read. Most unsettling passage. At least we've got really good scout chance here. Alright. So, we are heading up this way. There is a trap there, so Mr. Jester. Oh well. 
mind that such missteps are the exception and not the rule. Uh, at least you resisted the bleed. Thing of corpses. Some of this meat looks edible. Oh, the stuff is oh the first God. Test. Now it must be carried home. That's a pile of human corpses, dude. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm all for practicality, but there's practicality and then there's good God, man. So there's some treasure in there and a curio in that. Right, let's head to the curio. Grab the spare torch. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Damn it, I forgot the trap was there. And we finally have some combat, okay. Incoming. Oh, Grievous Jesus Christ. Injury. Palpable fear. That's not a good start. That's a stun. Resisted the... Nope. Oh, for God's sake. Haha, -ha, he resisted the stun, you bastards. Well, our Jester's getting the hell kicked out of him. Uh, clear stun and clear mark type. So, de-stun our uh, Jester. In fact, that de-stuns the entire party. Excellent. Alright, Hounds Rush on that guy at the back. Not quite a kill, but he's bleeding, so he's going down next turn anyway. Harvest. 100% chance for bleed, so the guy at the back, please. Oh, but hits both of them. Good. And they're bleeding. Good, 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 good. Heal thyself. Alright, hands rush on the guy at the front. Let's see if we can make him bleed as well. Yes! They're all bleeding, so they're all going to take reasonable damage, so... Dirk stab. Actually, no, use harvest again. Hit both of them. So they're now down to one health each, which means they'll bleed to death as soon as. Uh... Ah, that's okay. That's okay. They're all gonna go yep. bleed to death. Gently. Bleed to death. This is how a life is taken. And absolution. He can actually be a reasonably good forward unit because thanks to Absolution, he heals at a reasonable clip. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them. Okay, that all. moved him forward though for some reason. Probably meant to though, so. Makeshift dining table and the food makes him ill. Pity. Alright, head this way, because I just want to see the secret door. Aha! Chest untouched for centuries. Someone left behind quite a stash. Hacks laden with loot. Well, that was are often low on not supplies. Much. Oh well. Everybody's hungry again. Now used a fairly substantive chunk of our food, but we're uh, we're doing okay. Well, we're not doing great, but we're doing okay. So I think we want to go around here and loop up this way because I want to see this treasure. Try it. Nothing but rotting bodies. At least we didn't find any more edible meat because, frankly, yikes. A handsome reward. For a task well performed. Picked up a reasonable number of crests. Use a torch. We are running out of torch light at this point. Okay, we've got some spiders. Nope. I was hoping we'd uh, surprise them, but oh well. Aha, good resist. Good resist. Okay, let's get a bleed on them. Nice. Executed. One of them is dead the next uh, thing regardless is broken. good the offensive. 
Okay, obelisks. Resist the stun, good. I wonder why they're focusing everything on her. And unfortunately she's blighted. The problem is I've got two units in this team who are really good at healing themselves. But nobody who can actually uh, heal other people. So... Harvest that guy and take him out. That's a really good attack, actually. Good. And he's bleeding. Which means any tiny tap and he's going down. Alright. Flat. Heal everybody up. He's bleeding. Going for webbing. Haha, -ha, and the Jester dodged it. So if I can keep healing him up, that at least keeps his stress low as well. Dirk stab. Back to the pit. Yeah, I picked up some decent loot there. I haven't even had to break out his transform ability. Damn it. Head this way. Very complaining. Glittering gold, with the gold. Trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. Oh, Jesus. It's getting a bit dark. Okay. This time he is going to have to transform. I'm going to have to use a torch. Get the bleed on him. Okay, one of them's bleeding. That's pretty reasonable. Head the back, please. Nice kill. Give them no quarter. Incoming. Okay. And he's bleeding, which is not good. Nope. Transform. So everybody gets a bit stressed, but nowhere near as much as they would have. Hit them both with rake. Snipe a shot on that guy, please. Good hit. The slow Good death. kill. Thank you. Unforgiving. Bleed damage. Unforgiving. Alright, Mr. Jester. Damn it. Hands rush. Good. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Okay. The health situation is not great, so once we complete the next room, I'm going to have them camp up. Okay, nothing in here. So as far as I'm concerned, we can afford to camp. How much food we got? Okay, four food. Firelight, but plus ten health. Uneasy companionship. Pep talk, turn back time. One companion reduced stress by 30, if afflicted reduced stress by 15. All companions reduced stress by 20, but one companion increases stress by 20. Okay. I'll drink blood. Okay, quickening. Wrist and crossbow. Field dressing. Heal 35. Yes. Heal up our jester. Therapy dog. All companions reduce stress by 10. Minus stress damage. Ooh. Hands watch. Yup. Want to use that because I don't want to surprised. And therapy dog. Let's reduce everybody's stress. An affectionate nuzzle should put your heart right. Aww. And yes, I am a sucker for an adorable dog. My apologies, but they're adorable. Reduce his stress a bit. Alright then. Let's rest up. Okay. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. Right, let's move on. Spare torch, thank you. The most useful of random spare items you can find. 
To be fair, even if I evac now, I've got a hell of a lot more gold than I went into this mission with. So it is a net gain. But ideally, I would like to complete the quest. Must unsettling passage. Comes to you a lot, doesn't it? Oh god. Okay, you like your stressful, uh, who's my what's it, don't you? Yeah, just going back. Okay, incoming rend. Okay, you're bleeding, but not too bad. Alright, harvest them both. Good crit on that guy, but they both resisted bleed. Well, of course the zombie resisted the bleed. He's a bleeding zombie, but... Not what I meant, but you know what I meant. Damn it. Now I'll just debuff on him. Okay, hit the guy at the back. Let's... Damn it. I was going to see if we can get the bleed on him. Watch it, Mr. Jester. Alright, time for a transformation. And slam the guy at the front. That's what I wanted. I want him at the back. Okay, our obelisks resisted. Good. Glad the investment in the Greaves was worth it. Harvest. Damn it. Haha. -ha. Alright, Hounds Rush. Target that guy. Nice kill. Sniper shot. Good hit. He's down to one health. Break. Hit them both. And that takes them both out. Good people. Good people. This expedition at least promises success. Don't, don't. Yep. Don't say things you can't deliver on Mysterious Voice. Seriously, I love the narrator in this game, but where the hell is that voice meant to be coming from? Aha, we gained scouting. Okay, battle there. Uh, relatively clear until that point. Yeah, she doesn't like the dark terribly much. Okay, this is the last of our food, people, so, you yeah. know. Pile of weapons. He was a nasty gash. Damnation, but he resisted the bleed. Okay. Okay. <sighs> We're actually not doing too bad, apart from the fact that that's our last torch. Combat coming up here. And it's going to be a tricky one. Oh, Jesus. That's our jester in bad states. Only takes one bad crit to really buggy you up. Ah, hell. Alright, Mr. Jester. Let's see you stab him. Nice kill! That was really, really a good and effective. Thank you. Good doggy. And he's bleeding. Excellent. Uh, see if you can get some blight on him. Excellent. So they're all debuffed. They're all taking damage every turn. Get the Arbalist back. Okay, the Jester's not in great shape. Dirk stab forward will put him right in the front row and doing reasonable to... Ah, no, it only moves him forward one place, but that's okay. So I need him to move forward anyway, so... Aha, bleeding and blighted, so he's going to take a lot of damage. In fact, it's probably going to kill him. Okay, Arbalus pull back. That guy's down. On its own. You heal. Teetering on okay, the our Jester is at death's door, which is annoying because our Jester is actually a really good unit. Damn it. 
And I don't think I've got a single healing item left. Not the Jester, not the Jester, not the Jester! Oh, oh damn it. Wasted in the pursuit of glory. Gold. Damn it. I actually liked our Jester, he was pretty good. Not amazing, but pretty good. With the Obelisk back. Club him round the head. Well struck. Seize this momentum. Loss of the Jester the tasks is uh, sad, but a fortune waiting to be spent. But if we can manage to finish off quest complete, okay. <sighs> Damn it! Turn to the Hamlet. The swine folk's labyrinth may yet prove to be navigable. Yes, I regret the loss of our jester. Because he was actually pretty good. Lots of attacks that cause bleed, which is just very handy. Obsessed with sainthood, whatever the hell that does. Eternal. And plus one speed of HP is below 50. Yeah, useful. Whew. Can you feel it? The walls between the sane world and that unplumbed dimension was caught of making strange requests. Nice. Pride is no longer irrational, it's no longer paranoid. Dowel make that final fate during the quest. Oh, Dowel. Now I want another Jester because, you know, the last one was really good. Okay, so we need portraits here. They're well, not quite enough yet. We need deeds here and we don't have quite enough yet of those either. We've at least got a reasonable quantity of... Sunplug. Okay. 40% blight skill chance. Ooh, that'd be useful given the way I tend to favor his uh, plague grenades, but anyway. You are going to meditate. You are going to Penitent Hall. You are going to pray. And you can only drink memory set. No, in town we'll never drink. Interesting. This one you used to be drink only. But you can uh, do some gambling. Okay. So a reasonable chunk of our primary squad's good to go. The only one who's missing is my bounty hunter, who is admittedly a very high damage, very useful unit. But probably do a train in somebody else. So if I took you with my primary squad, that would give you a chance to level up a bit. And you are a reasonable healer. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. Items, minus 10 stress damage, plus 4 accuracy, minus 4 dodge. Nope, I'm going to sell that. Because to me it's more useful for the gold. And let us embark once more into the dungeons. And let's complete another quest. That's a level 3 quest, which I'm not going to do yet, because I want to level them up so that they're actually level 3. Medium level, complete 100% of room battles. Or 90% of rooms. Bounty Hunter Helmet. That gives me portraits, and I need portraits, so. Yep, we're doing this mission. And. No. You. You, and. You. Okay, that's a reasonable ish squad. You know, three relatively. Yeah. Yeah, hence why you're not going. 
So yeah, three good people and one guy who needs training up, but w should be reasonable once he is trained. We actually have the bloody provisions to uh, take a lot of stuff with us this time, including enough bloody food. A couple of shovels, anti-venoms, bandages, herbs, some skeleton keys in case we need them, one more holy water, and two racks of torches. I'm probably going to end up regretting taking this much stuff, if I'm honest. I'm hoping somewhere along the way there's a way to expand the size of your backpack. Because that would be very handy. They breed quickly down there in the dark. But perhaps we can slay them even faster. We can try. Okay, so this is complete all room battles. So we have an item. And his kleptomania's kicked in. But there's nothing there. I know I have a trap here, so you disarm it. Good boy. Yep. Aha, we surprised them. Good. So let's hit him with some judgment. And start with that guy at the back. Dodged it. Sod. Demonic pull on that guy. Let's bring him forward. Good. Gunfire on those three. Smite him down. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Watch out for the blight. Watch out for the bleed. Oh no, that's a uh, blighting attack, is it? Alright. Hysterical blindness. Wonderful. As the Good kills. A faint hope blossoms. Uh, party heal. Wonderful of that also cured blight, but I'm you know, <laughs> I'm willing to take what I can get. Demonic pull, pull him right to the front. Aha, and that actually took out the corpses on the way in. Good. I have to remember that it can do that. Good hit, plus mine. So I wonder which of them... I can't remember which of them it was, because I did notice I've got an achievement for... Uh... Their formation is broken. Nice. Maintain the offensive. By having taken out... You know, basically... Uh... What was it? Kill 50 Hands enemies with one uh, hero? For a task well performed. Move to this room, and again, let's watch out for the trap, because I know it's coming up on the floor here. There it is. Good job. Stack of books. You read. Unsettling passage. Down and around. So we need to complete all room battles. Damn it. Ancient traps lie in wait. Unsprung and meat makes the hero violently ill. Well, of course it does. It's bloody human meat. Traditionally, one would not advise eating human flesh. I mean, okay, technically, there's no reason why you can't from a. You know, well, you know, by definition, the human body contains everything that a human body needs to feed itself. But you really shouldn't. And not just for uh, socio uh, you know, sociological reasons. Right, that's probably a good point to end this part with me talking about why cannibalism is technically viable, but you really shouldn't do it anyway. So I'll say thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next part.